Hi, Mark from Mudrabar Auto Electrical and DC Auto Fitouts. Just like to demonstrate today our little Bluetooth voltmeter. PowerTech unit has here, links straight into your Bluetooth system so you can monitor all your voltages off your phone. It does obviously shows you instantaneous voltage, but it also records history and can give you a complete history graph of what's been going for days and days. And then I'm just going to open this up and show you what's inside it. Very simple connection straight onto your battery. There's not really much more to it. it comes with a Velcro sticky pad so you can attach it to the top of your battery and then also your instructions for the various testing and procedures that you can do with the unit. Now I'm going to cut right over to the app, open the app up and show you some of the functions of the app. Now once you've downloaded the app from the app store called Battery Monitor, you can simply tap on the app like you would any other device, open that up and straight away it comes up with a voltage. You can see your main voltage there, a percentage and it's also recording a graph instantaneously of what's going on. Now currently I'm connected to the main battery, the main starting battery. Now you can run multiple devices as well, so you can have multiple battery monitors and go through the one app. But we'll get to that shortly. There is some other testing that we can do. We can do a cranking voltage test. Now I shall give this a crank over. And you can see straight away it's suggesting that my cranking voltage is okay. It's even put a graph there of the voltage as it's cranked over and fired up. Now, it, it will also send you alerts if your voltage drops too low. We can also do a charging test as it gives you a straightforward instruction. Start the engine, turn off any devices which consume power, turn the headlights on only. So it's telling you to turn the headlights on, start testing. Step two, the alternator needs to be high RPM, so bring the revs up. And it will give you a couple of voltages on your idle speed and your high RPM speed. Test again if you like. It also records trip data based on your charging, so not highly accurate, but it's not gonna give you too much information, but based purely on the fact that it's charging, it's determined that your engine's running. It could be very handy to give you some, some overall engine running times. Now, if we go back, now as I was saying, you can run multiple devices, and I've already set this unit up for multiple devices. We can go into your settings. Now, you've got your daily power notification. It will transmit information to you when you're in range, information about your current power. It will also send you abnormal cranking notifications and then we've also got your power alarm you can adjust this and as you can see I can slide this up and down to wherever it suits it'll give you a preliminary warning and then a you know a, a red warning to indicate hey it is getting seriously low now as I said you can connect two devices if I open up the Bluetooth device by tapping on that straight away you can see there I've entered main battery and auxiliary battery now they can be edited to whatever you like tap on the edit you can go in edit the names fairly straightforward now I can switch over to the auxiliary by tapping on the auxiliary and now we've switched over to that it's synchronizing the data now obviously you can basic information on how to install the hardware is in there firmware updates if there's any updates frequently asked questions feedback and your version all straightforward stuff now if we go back we're currently on the auxiliary battery so once again we can tap on the graph open up that and we can see our history now if we tap back I'll go back and to a couple of days there now you can see the graph there previous day of what that battery's been doing now the fridge is running continually on this particular vehicle so you can see those little dips throughout the early hours of the morning and and, and the evening that is the fridge cycling on and off and then you can see the solar kicks in on the vehicle the vehicle's been sitting stationary and it stables out it maintains the battery and then it runs back in where it starts to discharge with the fridge cycling throughout the night now very handy to be able to look back and look at your data 
rather than just a continual voltage because if something's gone wrong and it's gone flat a continual uh, an instantaneous voltage might not give you any too much information but you can go back and look at what's going on now I've just clicked back another another day there now the, the inverter was turned on late in the afternoon and you can see that on the um, graph that it's dipped down so very handy to be able to look back at all your data rather than just get an instantaneous so that's pretty much the basics so thanks for watching